Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everybody and welcome back to another episode of Midgard Golf. We're out here today in the beautiful Garden City, Kansas, playing Buffalo Hills. So yeah, pretty coarse out here. Kinda, kinda undulating it looks like on the GPS, on the, the map I guess you might say, like, like Google Maps, it kinda looked a bit flat, but standing here before it looking at it, it actually looks pretty wavy. So, should be an interesting day, and we're playing it at a little over 6,400 yards. So yeah, this first hole, uh, about 3.30 from where I stand to get on that green. So, yeah, and dogleg right. Yeah, it looks like uh, if you're going to play a driver, you, pr you better play a pretty big cut here. But, yeah, other than that, if you're just going to take a straight shot or you tend to miss left, then probably favor the iron and just eat the... The longer shot in onto the green. Let's give it a whack, check it out. Here we are, second hole, another par four, 364 yards to get up on this green. Dog leg left this time. So yeah, if you can, uh, if you can put a good, big old high draw on a driver, then that's the play. If uh, if you're just punching one out there straight, probably just a long iron will suffice just fine. No bunkers visible, so just give it a rip and yep, keep it straight. Let's check it out.
right, so here we are on the third hole. A little par 3, 185 yards to get up on this green. Yeah, right, the, the correct miss, I guess you might say, the safe miss is left. Left and long, or short and middle. So, yeah, I'm thinking, hmm, probably a 7 iron. Yeah, right 7 iron to get up there. It's a, it looks like a little bit uphill, so I think that'll probably be the right stick. Let's give it a crack. Check it out. So here we are, fourth hole. Big par five, uh, about 493 to get up to the middle of this green. So I'm thinking it dogs to the right. Yeah, that's the only really real way it makes sense here. But I can't really tell because it's kind of a blind tee shot. So yeah, definitely slopes to the right. So I don't know, left side of the fairway I think is the correct line. But if you're gonna miss, it's almost like missing right's the correct miss because you're probably gonna find it out there. But missing left is out. Outside the barbed wire, no man's land. So, let's give it a whack, check it out.
are back everybody on number five. So, dog leg right again, uh, 356 yard par four. So yeah, I mean, if you can hit a cut driver, that's the play. Other than that, just hit a nice long iron out there. I mean, no matter what you do, you, you probably want to cut something. If you, if you play kind of a mid iron, that's really the only way you can hit a straight shot. If you get left, you got some you got some uh, some backboard sideboard support a little bit that should kick you to the right. Um, so yeah, yeah, fairly straightforward hole. So let's give it a crack. See what happens. everybody so here we are sixth hole 380 yards about to get up on this green straight forward par four but kind of narrow so yeah you definitely don't want to miss left uh, I mean you could be probably forgiven a little bit for missing right but if you miss right and long then you're gonna have tree trouble so definitely bear that in mind I mean with this yardage though really I mean what do you need maybe a 250 yard shot and then you're in attack range easy. So just hit something up there nice and easy. Keep it in play. It'll be alright. Let's check it out.
right, everybody, getting kind of windy now. Well, I guess it's been kind of windy for the last few holes, but here we are in number nine, in the last hole of this first part, this two-part series out here at Buffalo Hills in, where are we at? We're in Kansas. We're in Garden City. That's it, Kansas. So, yeah, kind of a short par four, uh, 320 yards to the middle of the green, dog leg left. So, yeah. Anyway, just poke one out there, probably a good 250 shot should be more than enough. So, let's give it a crack, see what happens. <laughs> 